Let's return back to the city and gently care. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's quite a crazy squirrel. Let's begin today seated on our mat and simply close your eyes. We will begin with a warm up, but before that, let's bring the attention and intention inside this body. There is a lot of things going on in the world right now. But the peace and comfort and vitality and health starts within. So we have to get back inside, find that precious connection, mind, body, and the true self. By bringing the peace and serenity inside, we will project it into our outer world. And with that, let's slowly open our eyes and reach all the way through. Be great inhalation through the nose and soft quality exhalation through the nose as well. And let's take a couple more in breaths and the exhalation all the way back down. And one more time, guys, reach up and open, connect through the hands, take the hands all the way up above that head, press the tailbone into the floor and take those hands all the way up, drop the shoulders, lengthen in the spine. Focusing on the space between the vertebra. Let's take the hands all the way up front and roll the spine back, bring the navel in, continue to push the hands all the way away from the forehead. Relax your neck. And let's reach up and open again. And this time take those hands farther behind the crown if you can reach it all the way through and fold forward again one more time. Let's take it up one more and take those hands all the way behind the back, all the way behind the back, connect if you can, reach all the way behind, open up the heart and keep taking the hands all the way back, continue to open, lengthen in through the shoulders, through the arms and then slowly if that's available, fold, fold forward. If you have to release your hands on the floor, go ahead and do it. Let's gently take ourselves back up, up to the state seated. Go ahead and take the hands all the way on the side. It can be the rib cage, it can be the waistline, a little bit lower, and start to focus on relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders. And let's take them all the way to the other side. It can be the rib cage, it can be the waistline, whichever you can reach. and take the hands back up we're going to fold forward one more time see if you can go a little bit more is and let's return back up take your right hand on the floor maybe it's going to be hand and elbow maybe just the fingertips maybe the block Try to remain both sit bones fully grounded. Continue to open and rotate towards the left and then slowly draw the hand behind the back or maybe even towards the opposite inner thigh. Focusing on drawing the shoulders outside apart and continue to rotate through the waistline, holding the both sit bones grounded. And from here, let's come up all the way to the seated, reach up, and we will go from the other side. So just a hand, hand and elbow, block, try to keep the both sit bones grounded and continue to open shoulders all the way up, apart. And then when you're ready, go ahead and reach behind the back or reach towards the opposite inner thigh. Make sure you're not rocking on one side only. Keep on holding it. And just for a few more breaths up here. Let's take it back to the center. We will continue with the shoulder walls. 
just a few quality start soft and then slowly expand we're gonna do a few in this direction and then we're gonna do a few to the opposite direction reverse when you're ready and then let's stop right in the center with those arms give them a big long strong reach not just the weak arms but keep reaching creating the hit inside the shoulders and the arms and cover your left with the right go ahead and take the hands as far as you can drop the shoulders and fall forward one more time opening the spine Come on back to the center. We're going to do the same type of extension to the side. Make sure that you create the hit in the arms, elbows, shoulders, lengthening through, and then cover your left with the right, your right with the left. And go ahead and fold forward fully or halfway, whichever you can do today. Very good. We still will remain for a few more minutes in a seated position. So let's go ahead and take both feet together in the bound angle or Baddha Konasana. And from here, we will do a few hip lifts. It doesn't have to be high. And maybe it's going to be just the chest if you have to do just the chest without lifting the hips off the floor. And slowly take it back. Let's continue with the breath. Reach up and exhalation back let's do a few more don't worry about how many you can fit just try to close your eyes and expand through the pelvic floor make sure that the wrist is feeling good and healthy stuck right underneath those shoulders so it's a good alignment and just a couple more and on the last one let's go ahead and stop right there and just hold it for the few breaths relax the neck keep the feet grounded keep on breathing and back to the center so lend your hips back on the floor let's take the right hand outside of the left try to remain nice and tall push against the ground with your left hand and lengthening through the spine and to the other side so take the left outside of the right push against the floor against your mat against the ground with the right hand and give it a good quality rotation through the lower back take it back to the center we will grab the right and put it behind now the closer your feet as always it's going to be easier to fold forward if you're not ready right away then put them closer if you want to give it a little bit more leverage then put your feet slightly farther away from the hips so let's take it to the front and align the shoulders with the front of the mat we're going to sit here just for the few breaths to find the alignment take a breath and then through the hip flexor slowly gently start to fold forward remember the farther your feet away from the base of the body it's going to be more challenging to fold forward through the hips so take your time for that and we're going to spend just a few breaths to wake up the hip flexor relax your toes guys relax the toes soft lower back and just dive down on exhalation let's come back up and extend your back leg all the way through just on that 45 degrees i mean it was laying down on, on the 45 degrees so you just extend that leg and continue to fold forward one more time relaxing the ankles guys ankles are soft on the boa's feet
and let's slowly start to come back up and just carry that leg all the way to the front so wherever your left leg is right now just leave it right there but you can grab it's a little bit lower if you have to and just bringing it up and open growing up just creating the space in the hips we're just creating the space in the hips and we will gently switch the leg so we're gonna put our left behind right up front the closer your feet the easier it's going to be to find the space in the hip flexor so take your time let's spend just a few breaths nice and tall here find the balance between both sides and then slowly start to dive forward observe the differences between right and between the left sides and just continue to fold forward We take a few more breaths up here and then start to come back up and all you have to do to extend your left leg outside and continue to fold forward back to the center I know try to hold your shoulders right straight aligned with the front of your mat let's return back to the seat and then gently care oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's quite a crazy squirrel. I always scare the kids. Kids don't come close to the squirrels, they can have rabies, you know? <laughs> this is what one of songs. Let's take the leg up and just keep that leg where it was. We're just gonna continue to open and give some space to the hips before we move forward with the practice today. Hear me. Let's go ahead and bring our feet up front. We're gonna make our transition to the plank from here. Raised elbows and shoulders stacked. And if you need to go on your knees eventually, not right now, you definitely can do that. We're gonna start to rock in this plank, so wait closer to the front of your body then slowly rock the heels towards the ground if you can rock through the toes with me do that if that's hurting your toes and ankles then just do it halfway through as I showed you the first one we're still staying in a plank we just go to rock forward and then take it back rock it forward through the toes or not through the toes take it back one more time guys rock it through the toes or not back and from here we're gonna rock the heels on the right and open up to the first side plank just to wake up the body take it back to the center and rock those heels on the left and open it up in a side plank let's take it back to the neutral plank into the center we're going to take our right foot off the ground and we're going to draw the knee over chin, chest or belly, staying in our plank. Take it back to the straight line. We're going to do it for a few more times in right knee and straight back to the line in the plank. Try to hold the plank in right knee. Take it back straight to the plank one more time. Right knee. Take it back straight to the plank. Push down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Come on up. And downward facing dog, exhalation, recover that spine. And then slowly, gently take yourself back to the plank. We're going to do the same with the left. Left in a straight line, guys. And take that knee, chin, chest, or belly, or even nose. Take it back to the straight line. 
Take it to the chin, chest or belly. Take it back to the straight line. One more time, chin, chest or belly. Straight line, Chaturanga Dandasana, all the way of your choice. Come on up. Downward facing dog exhalation. Relax the neck and drop the head all the way down. We're returning back, guys, to the plank from here. We're gonna rock the heels on the right. Open up in the side plank. Again, one more time, and this time we're going to reach and bring our left leg back into the straight line. And we have few more. Find the balance if you can't reach the leg up. Don't worry about it. You can also take your knee, the right knee on the floor, one or two times. Keep the good, strong body. And take it back through the Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhalation. Great job. Downward facing dog, recover. Take yourself back to the plank and then to the side plank on the other side. You can just remain in that plank or you can start to kick your right foot up in the air and back with precision and control with the breath. Back to the side plank a couple more times. Couple more times, guys. Keep on breathing actively. Take it back through the chaturanga. Knees on the floor or full variation of it. Take your time, take your time. Take it back to the downward facing dog. In through that nose, out through that nose. Relax the neck. Let's slowly look. Take your right leg up. Right leg up, look underneath the right. And step forward, guys, to your crescent lunge, to your high lunge. It's important, do not crisscross the knees, right? Hips are open and square. Reach up and open. Keep on breathing. We continue our standing warm up. So we're going to kick off the ground a little bit with the left leg, but mostly using the right and bringing the knee up, taking it back to the lunge. We're going to do a few of them. Let's wake up those legs and breathe all the way back to the lunge and breathe and back to the lunge. Try to use the right leg primarily a couple more times. Breathe, don't crisscross the knees. Reach one more time on the next one, guys. Go ahead and grab that left knee. Come on up for the standing position. In through that nose, out through that nose. Couple more breaths, in through that nose, out through that nose. We're going all go back to the lunge, glide back. Reach those arms all the way up and open. Take your hands up front and take the left elbow outside of the right knee. Hands and elbows stacked one on top of another. Keep on breathing. Through the nose in, through the nose out. Stay right there for a couple more breaths. Slowly take yourself back up into the lunge, crescent and lunge. All the way, expand, 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 expand. Take your hands behind and open up the heart. From here, we will slowly fold forward, halfway or full way to the humble. Take it all the way back up, sweep the arms, step back through the full Chaturanga Dandasana transition or nothing, or just the tabletop if you have to go through that. Come on up. I will meet you in the downward facing dog. Relax, restore, drop the head down. Drop the head down all the way through. Let's take our left leg up, guys, and open first, create the space. Step forward to your crescent lunge or your high lunge. Find the stability, find the squareness in the hips. First, reach up and open. Keep on breathing. We're gonna be driving the right knee 
up keep the left leg slightly soft when you do it and breathe and reach it back up glide and breathe i know and reach it back up glide and on exhalation breathe and draw it take it back up nice and wide come on up with me hold that knee find that balance that's it that was really good and just a few more breaths calm down calm down we're going to step back all together back into the crescent lunge glide wide take your hands up front of the heart and draw the right elbow outside of the left soft rotation through the hip flexor soft rotation through the waistline keep on breathing through the nose in through the nose out through the nose in through the nose out come on back up with me reach up and open draw those arms all the way behind open up the heart expand through the ribs all the way through and then fold forward fold forward come on up first guys come on up first and chaturanga of your choice or or no chaturanga take it up downward facing dog express through the heart and take it back to your downward facing dog through the nose in through the nose out relax the neck we're gonna take our right leg up guys right leg up look underneath the right and draw the left elbow all the way down towards the floor closer relax your neck if you need to come up on the tippy toes on the left you can do it just like you do the <coughs> your dolphin pose but with one arm right just like this relax look underneath the right continue to draw your toes on the right towards the sky take it back up bring your both feet on the floor great job shift the hips back find the level downward facing dog take your left leg up look underneath the left start to draw your left elbow i mean your right elbow towards the floor towards the ground continue to take your left toes towards the sky just a few more guys just a few more keep on breathing keep on opening those shoulders take it all the way back all the way back look halfway through roll on your toes exhalation back to the downward facing dog one more time look forward roll up on your toes take it back exhalation towards the down dog one more time roll up on your toes bend your knees step walk or hop halfway neutral spine full forward fold uttanasana give those ankles hug if you wish or just bend your knees have your hands connected your elbows connected look halfway through guys halfway through full forward fold uttanasana back through the hip flexor one more time reach halfway bend your knees with katasana or chair pose reach up and open and draw the elbows outside express through the heart keep on breathing soft squat open throat close your eyes and breathe find the balance and connection with the ground with the earth let's reach and sweep hips forward heart up and full forward fold exhalation we're going for one more chair pose to the back bend reach up and open chair pose chair pose this time we're going to take our left behind right underneath connect bind or somewhere closer use your strap avoid guys bringing all the weight on the toes please that's where you load the knees and ankles shift it back to the heels open up draw the elbows back focus on the space between the vertebrae the airy sensation come on up with me 
little back bend hips forward hard up look at you slowly undo those arms sweep full forward fold uttanasana look halfway through chair pose utkatasana this time your right is gonna go underneath your left is gonna go on top weight away from the toes express through the heart the chair pose doesn't have to be low guys keep on breathing elbows back on that upper elbow back guys so you can express through the chest that's perfect go ahead and come on up with me hips forward heart up hold your bind if you can come on back up reach all the way sweep and hold the way forward fold relax restore that back look halfway through take your right leg up bend your left knee and shift the weight towards the left heel just like you're ready to the chair pose point your right toes down guys right toes down squat on the squat on the left take your hands up front of the heart the way you can try to level the heart and the tailbone on one line above the ground i know leave that leg leave that leg beautiful go ahead and sweep up with me one more time this time we're gonna grab our right ankle bring it up to the waistline up to the hips keep on breathing guys oh yo yo and let's go ahead and take the right arm up very good job for those who are gonna practice the half lotus in the tree pose go ahead and do it or just release that foot wherever you can for the regular tree pose take the hands up front wonderful guys couple more breaths we're gonna spend a few breaths up here take your time take your time take your arms all the way outside we're gonna do our best to make a transition to the warrior three if you need to tap the floor you would need to tap the floor or airplane arms if you have to take your arms on the side you can do that as well take your both hands on the floor guys step back meet me in the downward facing dog through your transition or no transition take your time take your time downward facing dog exhalation all the way relax restore let's spend just a few breaths up here before we're gonna move to this flow from the other side look forward bend those knees step forward hop halfway neutral spine guys full forward fold all the way to nasana relax your neck fully drop the crown and look halfway through take your left leg up and bend your right knee point the left toes down weight away from the right toes like you used to go going for the chair pose when you're ready hands up front of the heart find the stability find the strings in that right side try to level your ankle and your shoulder blades above the floor keep on breathing we're ready for the transition go ahead and transit to the hold of your left foot remember just like we do the half lotus seated external hip rotation not the knee not the ankle rotate externally from the hip mm -hmm go ahead and take our left hand up very good just a few more breaths 
Look at that beautiful balance, guys. Good job. Now, just a regular tree or go to the half lotus in the tree wherever you can go. Mm-hmm. Very good balance, guys. Taking your time, taking your time. Very nice. Breathe. If you start to shake, start to breathe more actively. Reach, 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 reach. We will do our best. It doesn't have to be perfect to make a transition to the Warrior 3 or balancing stick with arms on the side. And slowly, guys, glide, step back to your full or half or no transition in your chaturanga. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Downward facing dog exhalation. From here, guys, we're practicing our dolphin today. And we're going to practice, we call it feathered pia cock. If you want to kick your legs up a little bit, if not, just continue to stay in the dolphin once we start to do it for right now let's go ahead and bring the elbows on the floor try to hold your arms parallel to each other just like this just like i'm doing right now if you need to come on the toes you can come on the toes shift the hips back like you practice in your down dog expand through the shoulder blades all the way outside and drop the crown the top of your head over the floor Look forward, guys, and bend those knees. Hover from the dolphin to the hover. Keep on breathing, building the arm strings. You can do it. Couple more breaths. Try to hold your arms parallel to each other on the floor, the forearms. Come on, back up to the full dolphin, guys. Hips back. Back to the hover. And back to the dolphin, guys. From here, step a little bit, just a couple inches back, couple inches back with your feet. We're going to be switching from the dolphin plank back to the dolphin, guys. And dolphin plank and back to the dolphin. Dolphin plank, back to the dolphin, step your feet back closer, guys. It's time to connect our hands for more stability. Your hands just connect them and kick the tailbone back. Kick your tailbone more back. Go ahead and come up on your tippy toes. Start to kick your legs right and left, left and right. Kick the legs up, right and left, left and right. Keep relaxing your neck. Just a couple more, guys. Just a couple more. Keep on breathing. And slowly, gently step your feet back into the ground. Release the hips on the floor. Hold the connection in the arms. Come on back up to the dolphin plank. In through the nose, out through the nose. Hips on the ground. Slight touch. Take it back to the plank. Stay with me. Slight touch on the floor. Take it back to the plank, guys. Slight touch on the floor and back to the plank take your right elbow on the floor kick the heels on the right open up in a dolphin side plank in a dolphin side plank all the way if you're practicing with me we're gonna go ahead and take the leg up and connect slowly return back to the regular plank Heels on the left, heels on the left, and reach up and open, and maybe connect with the right ankle if you're ready. If not, just stay where you are. If you are connected, heel away from the hip. Take it back to the center, all the way, hips on the floor, arms on the side. Relax, set the hat on the ground, on any direction. 
Give it a few breaths, hold for recovery. Let's go ahead and take the chin to the center. We're going to take the arms up front, set our knees wider as the mat or a little bit wider, flatten your feet and lift them up towards the ceiling, activating the lower back and the glutes. Keep on breathing. Build the strings in the lower back, guys. Lift belly on the ground active belly breathing so you feel that belly rising and contracting pumping of the growl pumping of the floor kick the feet flat flat feet up few more breaths few more breaths and slowly release recover just for the breath or two We're going to draw our right hand towards the left ankle, guys. Right towards the left. What is that? So, hey, you're stuck. So, right to the left, all the way. And if you decide to hold the hand and elbow on the floor and let foot ground it, you can do that. Or you can come up with me and open up a little bit wider, deeper, longer, and stronger. Keep on breathing. Through the nose in, through the nose out. If you're ready, we're going to go ahead and sneak this left foot, this right foot inside the left. Very nice. One step at a time. Let's slowly take it back and rest. Just for the breath or two. Draw your left hand towards the right ankle or use the strap left over the right. Feel free just to stay up here or lift the left leg and right arm. Keep on breathing, guys. Through the nose in, through the nose out. Big smile, big breath. Go ahead and sneak the left foot inside. That's it. And slowly release. Both hands, both feet on the floor. Take your hands wider than the mat. Take your feet wider than the mat. Kick off the ground to the downward facing dog with the wide legs and wide hands. Relax the neck, spread the shoulder blades apart, all the way drop the crown. Keep on breathing guys, relax. Let's slowly walk forward, hands in the regular position underneath the shoulders guys we're going to complete our planks and push-ups today we're going to move to the triangle flow let's go ahead and draw alternative knees we're going to alternate right to the right elbow left to the left elbow or shoulder building the core strings if you need to go on your knees stay in the plank go on your knees and let's go do it in just a few strong drawings remain the integrity of the plank as much as you can knees or no knees breathe actively guys breathe actively like you're climbing on the mountain couple more guys couple more take it all the way back on the floor knees on the ground tricep push up just the strong quality from the neutral plank we're doing it on the knees so you guys can work it with the full quality just a few more elbows in over the rib cage guys we're gonna go ahead and hold it 
If you will decide to kick your knees off the ground for the full low chaturanga, do it. Elbows in, guys. Release your toes coming up. Push. Downward facing dog. All the way through. Relax the head. Drop the crown. All the way shoulder blades apart. Keep on breathing. Let's take our right leg up and open. Look underneath the right. Step forward, guys. All the way to the quality wide stand warrior one. Reach all the way. Make sure that your feet far apart. Enough. Taking almost the entire space of the mat. Reach and open to the warrior two. From here, top the back leg very lightly. Open up the chest over the sky. And then go ahead and extend both knees. Take your hips towards the pots. Keep the feet as is. And start to slide through the waistline for the trikonasana or triangle. Do not over rotate through the shoulders. Rotate through the hips and pelvic floors through the lower back a little bit. If you're ready, let's draw this left hand behind the back or towards the inner thigh. If you feel that your chest is hanging too far away from the hips forward, you are too low. This is no that you have to take it all the way up. Guys, go ahead and focus on that right leg and bend your right knee. Bend your right knee. Great job. Go ahead and take it back to the triangle. Open up to the sky. One more time. Bend your right knee. Take it up and open. Back to the sky. Rotate the heart. One more time, guys. Bend it all the way. And go ahead and rotate and bind. Keep on breathing. Slowly undo the bind and side in tan straight. Square the hips. We're getting ready for that revolved triangle. Fold forward. It doesn't have to be super low, but try to distribute the weight between both legs, right and left equally. Don't hold it only on the front leg. Square the hips. Move that right glute slightly back. Back so you square the hips. Take your left hand on the floor or on the block. Open it up. Soft rotations through the pelvic floor, hips and lower back. That's beautiful. Very good triangle, revolve triangle though. Let's take it all the way back to the center. Step back and hold it with me. Keep on breathing. Through the nose in through the nose out we do our transition to the side plank and the leg to the tree keep on breathing guys work on the fluidity breathe include your breathing back to the center chaturanga dandasana of your choice i will meet you in the downward facing dog to recover Relax the neck, guys. Drop the head down. Shoulder blades apart. Neutral, wide, beautiful. Back. Let's take our left leg up and open. Step forward, guys. Strong. Warrior one. Assertive one. Watch where you put your feet. Nice and wide enough to cover almost the entire space of your mat. Look up and open, and warrior two. Gaze towards the front hand, level those arms. 
lightly touch your back leg open up the chest express through the ribcage then go ahead and extend both knees guys take your hips towards the other parts or that side of the park and slide through the waistline use your block if you have to we will begin in a simple triangle just hands on the floor or the blocks if you don't have the blocks use your shin and then slowly start to move that right hand behind the back or insert it into the inner thigh on the other side close your eyes and let's slowly start to dive into the left leg take your time just dive feel it through and then go ahead to open it up back to even more open trikonasana triangle one more time bend your left leg dive down feel it through and then with even more awareness open up that heart towards the sky towards the top rotate through the hips one more time guys dive down and this time stay right there and bind around your left leg if you do the bind continue to rotate up towards the sky again both legs working equally and let's slowly undo those arms side straight square the hips draw the right the left hip bone back so you can square them for good and fold forward through the hips through the hips relax and drop your head your neck all the way on top on the front leg We're ready for the revolve triangle so take your right hand on the floor or the block steer yourself guys to the good position put your left hand on the hip and push it a little bit towards the right just like this and then open up so you level and square the hips beautiful let's slowly bring both hands back meet me in the plank with the left foot extended left leg extended nice and strong we will try to do our assertive flawless transition to the side plank with the <clears throat> left foot in a tree pose take your time I will meet you guys in the downward facing dog after your transition or no transition. Come on up. Back to the downward facing dog. Relax your neck, drop your head. Relax your neck and drop your head. Shoulder blades apart. Close your eyes and just enjoy your downward facing dog. We will slowly, guys, put your both feet together and roll on the toes. Shift the heels on the side and draw on the right side. Draw the right hand towards the right ankle. Fold. Still in the downward facing dog. Slowly return back to the center steer your heels to the left and take your left hand over the left ankle thigh or calf drop the head both feet together in the downward facing dog heels to the left awareness in the body guys awareness in the body 
back to the center bend those knees and squat step to malasana try to set your feet so mat width apart mm -hmm. we practicing bakasana today and titibasana fire flight for our arm strings so let's begin up here if you're not practicing any of those just watch and try to practice make sure there is a mat up front of your forehead just in case right so come on up on the tippy toes and one leg in a time i have super slippery pants today and then once your one leg is lifted glide forward bakasana so we do a few of those you don't have to hold it for long just try to develop the strong steady transition from the floor to the stand building the arms and shoulder strings take it back on the floor we're going to do it one more time inhalation and try to develop that little quick flow from the floor steady one to the bakasana up in flow hold for a few breaths and then slowly return back on the floor take your arms all the way under knees and behind and just shift the weight back shifting the weight back just like a crooked turtle and from there start to kick one foot off the ground one foot off the ground one foot off the ground once you kick it off successfully give it a try mm -hmm. again it's important to step the feet wide enough and hands flat enough behind shift the weight on the shoulders in the upper arms shoulders in the upper arms we have to keep trying it's not gonna get better if you're not trying steven i can tell you you can do it I oh, 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 you did? I didn't see it. Okay. It's just... That's very good. Come on down, guys. Great job. Richie, look. You couldn't do it before. You're getting better and better. Let's go ahead and grab the big toes. Heels all the way outside. Tia, stop and forward. Keep on breathing. We're going to do our soft transition to the back to Malasana and then back to the seated open, seated open upright angle. Just to practice. Don't shake, guys. Don't shake. Breathe. Breathe. Let it go. We're just practicing. No stickers. Let's take it back slowly. Feet on the floor. Take an inhalation through the nose on exhalation. Don't draw the knees together. It's not going to be. Keep them up and open. Don't rock. Just use the strings of the center. Come on up. Keep on trying, guys. Ha uh ha. -huh. Heavy butt. And let's take it back slowly with awareness. Sink ahead. Open up. Breathe. Expand. Find the breath, we're going back, slowly, with awareness, use the center of your body to come up, feet wide, very good, we're going to do it one more, I'm pulling you up, <laughs> and come on back down, one more, open up, that's it. We're going to put both feet together and try to come up to the nose pose. Feet together, attention to the center, reach, almost, open, big hug. Mm -hmm. If you're not sitting on the feet, then tippy toes. We're going to do it one more time. Come on up. and feet on the floor 
inhalation exhalation very good almost 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 very nice one more transition reach up inhalation through the nose exhalation through the nose reach very nice back to the seated one more time one more time i know reach up open you can do it one more time come on up awareness into the body last one let's do it together imagine you're already there in through nose out that's it that's it take it back other leg holding your open body one more time first time we're gonna help ourselves to kick so just to develop the sensation how you do it reach it down just a slight touch you don't have to help yourself too much just a little one very good don't slam your bottom back try to sit it reach and now imagine you already did it and very nice one more time reach imagine you already did it you're already there great job both feet back wide seated angle then we practice in sleeping turtle to finalize this practice they taking too good care of this park every single day they taking care of this park okay little tip pull the glutes out pull even hamstrings out even calves pull it out i know some of you lord have a lot of flexibility in the hips but for those who doesn't that really really helps do not try to hit the ground right away give it some time mm -hmm. very nice just a one little step in a time. If you do have all of your goodies on the floor, your belly and everything else, then definitely try to take your hands, Katie, try to take your hands back and fall forward. Mm -hmm. Be very mindful if you don't so. Mm -hmm. And let's slowly reach back up. Draw your feet, just draw your knees up, just, just a little bit. Don't bring them too close. Take your hands on the floor in between. That's already something, it can be the hands, it can be the block, fingertips, can be the forearms. If it's forearms for you, maybe the next stage is gonna be the ankles outside. And if that is really easy for you, then we're gonna go ahead and create the bind behind the back. Mm -hmm. Come on, dancer major. Do it. It's like we have a gymnast sometimes come to the classes and then they like come with the nose up and proud and then we do some strings especially because they normally really flexible there is nothing what they cannot do but then when it's can balance and strings and they're like what <laughs> go ahead and start to extend the legs let's slowly undo the arms take your legs all the way back do the center pull the glutes out reach up we're gonna go for a seated forward fold to reveal that back give it a few layering movements motion first you don't have to go low focus on the quality of the stretch quality of the alignment we don't have to get obsessed with that but less less deeper is better with a better alignment
and let's slowly move to our last strong flow to keep the our center strong we're gonna go to halasana or halfway halasana if you want to do just the feet up to the ceiling you can and then we're going to transfer to high boat like a regular boat up here or bent knees or the low boat low navasana pay attention if you could go in for transfer for the low boat your lower back must be grounded it cannot arch it cannot it cannot be the arch between your <coughs> between the floor and the back it's very unhealthy for the spine okay you can take your legs up let's go do it halasana or feet up towards the ceiling slow transition to the low boat or regular seated boat low boat or regular boat guys activate the center if you do in the low boat make sure your lower back grounded there is no other way for the low boat take it back one more time regular boat or low boat navasana be very mindful one more And everybody to the regular boat normal upright seated boat we're going to take the right ankle above the left ankle take the legs a little bit lower and go run two three four five six seven back to plow pose with the ankle bind slowly on the way up towards your regular boat switch the ankles take the hands together we go one two three don't arch the spine in the bottom five six seven take it to the plow pose undo those feet guys and gently where the breath by where the breath bring your boss feet nice and wide take your hips up to the bridge pose to the situbanhasana arms wide feet wide draw the knees slightly more apart slightly more apart include your belly breathing active one and then slowly bar the breath by bar the breath bring the back on the floor take your feet up to the wide happy baby pose draw the knees and tailbone simultaneously towards the floor rest your head and let's slowly bring our ankles crisscross close your eyes and come on up into the seated position let's reach our arms up draw them all the way up front to the heart life is busy there is a lot of turbulence outside in this world but as long as we creating that awareness consistency ability to bring our retention and intention insight and slow down the fluctuations of the mind in turbulence of the world everything will fall in place so let's focus on that internal peace passion love kindness within us so we can give to the others more and with that let's smile with our heart and flow through the rest of this precious day with true unshakable peace inside namaste very good job that squirrel will stuck in my mind for my nightmares <laughs>